Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Welcome to the No Man's Sky Orbital Update. I think I'm going to buy this ship. <laughs> um, we're getting right into it. Uh, this is the Build a Ship Workshop series. Oh, the UI for this has changed. I'm going to buy, not exchange. I want... I want to make a... Huh. I'm going to go check something. I want to make a fighter with a very specific build. Well, I'll probably have to search for a while to find the parts, but, um, fighter. Wings, huh? Ah, oh, yeah, that. That's the kind of wing I want, this round thing. And the engine doesn't matter, I just need an engine any engine will do and I want this nose the vent nose as I call it that was my old favorite ship design um, I used to have one like it but something happened to it so might as well use this as an opportunity to oh yeah I need to oh yeah this is my current ship we're gonna try scrapping this one see if I can get the engine from it Cool. Did we get anything? Uh oh. We didn't even get a ship part. We just got the regular junk. That's a shame. So I don't think we got a ship part. Nope, doesn't look like it. Dang, I was hoping that you would always get a ship part, but I guess not. This is going to take forever, then, to to farm for ship parts if you don't always get a ship part. Dang. I wish they were guaranteed to at least get one. I didn't get anything. <sighs> oh, well, let's uh, experiment with it. I believe that was a C rank. We can ex... What the... That is not my starship. Oh, it, it called a different one of my starships. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna s experiment... I believe it was a C rank that I... I wanna... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is there... Is there stuff over here? Surely not. No. Ooh, there's another fighter. I'm only going to scrap fighters because there's a certain type of fighter I want to make. Although, all I really need is an engine right now, because the engine doesn't matter. The other parts have to be specifically special. What do we got? Ooh, it's an A-Class. That means it's going to be really expensive, though. But it might have a higher chance. Oh man, that's gonna use up almost all my money. Oh well, might as well. I'll get some back. Okay, I guess I bought it. Um, now let's scrap it. It's uh, it's an A class, so hopefully there'll be a higher chance to get a ship part from it. And I also might get a ship upgrade piece, which I can use on one of my ships. What is this? UI cost salvage prods? What does this mean? What does this do? Oh, 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 so salvaging for a part, 
Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> this is supposed to be cockpit. Cockpit? I guess it actually means the nose. The nose. <laughs> this is kind of a <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> this is kind of an unfortunate code term here. <laughs> if you read the whole thing, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the last two words. I'm not going to say them out loud, but oh. <laughs> oh no. They got <laughs> They got to hurry and fix this. <laughs> oh man, that's embarrassing. Anyway, the part that I want is the engine. Okay, so now we know I I I did the wrong thing. I scrapped and I scrapped when I should have done that, which was giving this. So we've got our engine, which doesn't really matter, but I don't think any of the fighter ships... I can w I'll wait a little bit longer, see if any other fighters show up that have the parts that I want. I want the vent nose and the, the round wing thing. But, um... Oh yeah, when that came in, I was I was checking if I used to be able to run all the way along here. Probably still can. Wouldn't it be cool if they had decided to put like side rooms over here? I wish they had, but like 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 secret maintenance tunnels or something along here. I like that there's these new sign things. I wonder what they mean. Some of them are like arrows going up, which kind of makes sense. But like this, this doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know what that would signify. Um, also, not a lot of ships coming in. I should... Um, what was I going to say? I don't even remember. Um... I have no idea. I totally lost my train of thought there. But, um... Yeah, it looks like you can go all the way to the end where the ships go out. And it'll probably be protected with a force field at the end. I keep thinking that's a stairway, but it's just a texture on the column. Would have been awesome if there had been side rooms, like some kind of maintenance tunnel or something. Ooh, there's interesting little red light thingies, whatever they are. There's like warning things to warn you don't go past here or you'll die in the vacuum of space, except you can't actually go past here. It's it's blocked with an invisible wall. But, um, yeah. That's cool. Now I gotta run all the way back. <laughs> There's seriously no way to get back faster. Just gotta walk. So anyways, I'm out of money now. That's kind of a problem. Oh, dang. I shouldn't have spent... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. Because... I realize now there wasn't a point to buying an A rank. Because... Um, uh, you can get, you can get a part from it 100%. I thought you had to salvage it the old way to get a part. Okay, good. That put me back to where I was at the beginning. I thought you had to salvage it the old way and you might get a part, but actually if you choose a different option, which the text for it is bug, and that's why I didn't notice it at first. Um, that's how you... That's how you get the part. So now I can get the exact part. But you know what? There's actually a different engine that I would prefer, and I didn't see it that kind of engine anywhere here. So I'm just going to go ahead and warp to a different star system. Also, for some reason, there's hardly any ships coming in this one. Oh, as soon as I leave, they start to appear, but whatever. Um, 
I'm going to try a higher economy. What economy was this? Oh, no, this was a max economy. But actually, it might be better to get a low economy since the price doesn't matter. I mean, the uh, the class doesn't matter. The class doesn't help you. As far as I can tell, the class of the ship doesn't help you. I guess I'll go to Viking because Viking are kind of the ones that prefer... Oh, that's an abandoned star system. Uh, Vikings are the one that prefer fighting, so they probably prefer fighter ships. Here we go. Viking, one star system. So that way it'll be more likely to have C rank, which will be cheaper ships. And... Um, it's just random what ship parts the ships in that star system are, so just have to hope that they have one of the parts I want. We also get to check out all the different uh, space station exteriors. So this one is pretty cool. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of like a short tower with a ring around it. It's got, like, thrusters at the back. That's really cool. Not that space stations ever move or anything, but it looks like it could be something that moves. <laughs> I'm so glad they finally got better designs for space stations because they're... It was seriously boring. They were just, like, a sphere, an arrow shape, and a triangle pyramid shape. And there were probably some other shapes, but they were really boring. Now they're actually really interesting shapes and stuff. Unfortunately, the exteriors have very little variation. I mean, well, the walls, the walls, the color textures and everything on the walls of the space station are highly varied. But as far as the layout of where the shops are and stuff is almost totally cookie cutter the same other than a few doodads here and there laying around it's unfortunate they didn't put more variation in it but oh well they are already working on a fix for the text uh, bugs there's a lot of text errors basically anything new the text for them is messed up yeah the <laughs> this blue cube is in the same spot it seems like for every Viking system. It's unfortunate that there's really not that much variation. But oh well. But um. Yeah, I don't remember what else I was going to say. But anyway. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with these interiors. Obviously, the important part is the new ship building features, but uh, you know, these in interiors are not nearly as varied as I was hoping they would be. Oh, I can interact with this thing. Yeah, they're, they've already got a fix on PC, on PC Experimental for these label errors so that should be out you know fairly soon on consoles maybe by Friday the end of the week it's Wednesday right now um, I'm only looking for fighters so don't really care about the haulers wait for some fighters to come in it seems Viking systems always have this dodecahedron. I don't know why I call it that. It's just... It's the only 3D shape that I know the name of. It's not an actual dodecahedron, I'm sure. But I don't know any other names for... <laughs> and that's because of uh, the Phantom Toll Booth. That old, like... Uh, was that movie from the 70s or the 80s? I don't know. It could have been from the 90s, for all I know. But anyway, the Phantom Toll Booth was an animated movie, but there was this character called the Dodecahedron in it, and it was a it was a giant Dodecahedron. 
Um, and that's why I know that name. Because of the Phantom told it. It's too bad this part is blocked off. I don't know why. It's not like it's a danger if we get close to this machinery. Because there's moving machinery like this on the Nexus. Ugh, I need to move my chair a little bit. I don't like being off center on my camera. Um, ooh, yeah, that's cool. But, I mean, yeah, there's moving machinery like this on the Nexus. I don't know why they felt they had to block it off from us in here. I guess because maybe the way it moves could be dangerous, but... Or we could get inside that thing. But all, all they have to do is put, like, you know... Um... Uh, invisible walls that prevent us from going inside there and stuff. But whatever, they decided to just block the whole thing off for whatever reason. They could... I mean, the, the, the in-universe reason could be that so I don't steal the merchandise or something, but whatever. Whoops. Ah! Anyway, has any spiders come in yet? Too bad they didn't add shuttles. <gasps> ah, it's the vent nose! Yay! This is the nose I was looking for. Yay! We got the type of nose. Awesome! Yay, we got the nose. Oh, hopefully... Yeah, this is C-rank. Awesome. Good. So we get it as cheap as we want. I also want the engine from it, so why don't we why don't we go ahead and buy another one? Because you can only get one part from it. Hopefully this is also Darn, it's B class. I don't want to pay that much. I need to save my money. We can wait for another one to show up. I'm sure another will show up. Well we want the nose and the engine. This is the type of engine I like. Um then uh, then we'll have the nose and the engine. Then we'll just need to get the wings, which this is not the type of wings I want. And then we'll be able to make it, and we'll be able to color it the color I want. That's the really cool part, is that you get to choose the... Oops, oops this is the wrong thing. You get to choose the colors for the ship when you build it. It'd be really cool if we could go ahead and get the ship I want built in this episode. I definitely want to make a ship in this episode so we can see what making a ship is like. Oh, I'm going to have to... I have enough nanites. I can buy a S rank. What's a jiggy thingy? So, <laughs> this first one with the funny name, I think, is the one that gives me the nose. Hopefully. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so that, that gave me the vent nose. Uh, hi, Tabaluga Dragon. I'm going to call you T-Dragon, if that's all right. From Kanaju's Steam to yours, LOL. Watched your video agreed on everything. Cool. Yay, so we got the vent nose. Just going to go ahead and look at it in here. Yeah, so we got the vent nose. We still need to get an engine, and then we'll have to go find the wings that I like. Which, that's going to be the hard part. Wings, wings, I think, are the hardest part to find. Because I think there's always, like, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole bunch of different wings. There's only a few different, well, there's quite a few uh, fighter noses. Um, but we already got the fighter nose that I want. That's weird. I wonder why it's on here twice. Huh. Um... Oh, 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 I get it, because it's, it's showing, it's, it's my inventory, I get it now, okay, anyway, um, oh yeah, and there's only three types of engine, but then for wings, oh my gosh, there's so many different types of wings, so it's going to take a really, really long time to find the wings I want, but the wings I want are, wait a second, there's only there's only... You can only put in one wing. Some ships have asymmetrical wings, like different wings on each side. Did they, I guess they didn't make it so that we can have different wings on each side. Not that I care, because I very much dislike asymmetrical things, but 
it's a little disappointing they didn't make it so we could put two different wings on either side just because. But this is the one I want. This is the circle wing. UI Fighter Wing D name L. Actually, I think they're all called that. No, no, no. They all have different names. EA Wing L and EA FI name L. <laughs> Don't know what the names are actually supposed to be. But anyway, I need to get an engine. The fighter ships here have the type of engine that I want. Hi, Cobrazilla 300. It's probably similar to a building... Oh, building a staff. Yeah, it's basically the same as building a staff. Um, except there's four parts, because you get to choose the class, which is nice. Um, with staffs, you just get a random class when you assemble it, as far as I could tell. I tried, like, mix and matching different shapes different staff parts like if you if you combine all the same exact staff parts it didn't seem to increase your chances to get a higher rank or anything um so yeah but um but yeah you couldn't choose the class but in this you just have to buy the class of engine that you want and you get it which is awesome which one thing they really need to do is make it so you can cla uh, cl increase the class of your freighter for some reason you can you can change the class of your ship multi t ship and multi tool but you can't increase the class of your freighter and your <gasps> oh okay as soon as i get the engine from here i know the fighter engine i want is here i need to go debrief and send out my uh, frigates, my freighter frigates and stuff. Cause, yeah. Uh, some new features are with the, the freighter things. I kind of wish I could go do that now. Yeah, we, we can get the engine a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go debrief my freighter. And maybe we'll get lucky and a, fr a fighter will land in my freighter. But anyway, um... So yeah, we'll go debrief. Oops. Forget the entrance is different on this thing. We will... You know, I should color my freighter. I, I think you can change... I haven't tried. I wonder if you can change the color of these pirate freighters. I should go check. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can't. Something I never did. Customize appearance. Oh, I don't have any colors. What? All this time? All this time I've never gotten any colors from my freighter? I don't even remember how to get colors. I think you... I think I think you unlock them with I think you unlock them on here? Yeah. Oh, it just takes nanites. Hmm. Well, I don't want to waste nanites right now. I've got um stuff I need. The these all take salvaged frigate modules. Which I still, after all this time, I haven't got this stuff. Anyway, enough wasting time with that. Um, wait a second. Oh, interstellar scanner. I don't care about that. Matter beam was really important. I need to get the... Whatever. Um, why else did I come in here? Oh yeah, debriefing frigates. I haven't done this in a while. Ooh, I got a storage augmentation. Nice. Very nice. There's like new features to frigate missions now. 
that'll be exciting. I can wait for things to happen with that while I'm trying to build my ship. There we go. Nanite clusters. Nice. They finally fixed that. Oh my gosh. For years we've had this bug where it would just give you a small amount of units. And I knew that it was supposed to give you nanite clusters. They finally fixed it so that it gives you nanite clusters. My gosh. It took years for them to finally fix that problem. Unless it was just mislabeling it. Doesn't seem like my nanite clusters increased, though. So I don't think it actually worked. Like, they finally fixed the tax, but it still didn't work. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, I guess... Did they put all my stuff in the freighter? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just... Well... Yeah, some of this we want to make sure we take with us. Oh my goodness, I have six salvage trigger modules. I think I need eight, though, for the next thing I want. And we definitely want this. We could probably use it on the new ship I'm going to build. And we can sell the rest of this stuff. I need money, so I'm glad I'm doing this. We need freighter inventory, okay? Why do I have a portable refiner in my... in here? That's weird. Tritium... should be... I don't know why I'm keeping tritium in here. Should be in my starship, probably. Actually, I know why. It's because I use it to make... um... Forget fuel. Oh, sorry. Um, these stations are wow. I can't wait for this to be on Switch. Is it not on Switch yet? I guess the Switch update is taking longer. Yeah, not being able to upgrade a freighter is weird. Never understood that. They could set some absurd price, like 200,000 nanites, 1 billion units, lol. You can change the color, yeah. Uh, if you load the game, the expedition will give you the same stuff? What? I don't know what you mean by that. Irresistible crowns. That's a funny name. Cool. Okay. So, I need to send them off on more missions. Looked like I had plenty of frigate fuel. I don't remember that symbol. I think that's... What the... Why am I... Why am I clipping through this thing? It looks like they've added some stuff to frigate... Freighter interiors, maybe? I don't remember this symbol. Well, it could be just update-itis, and I'm just noticing things I never noticed before, because I think it's supposed to be new stuff but I and also I haven't had this freighter for very long so maybe I just didn't notice these details probably probably just didn't notice them anyway let's do this all right so let's do combat first because Stuff. Actually, we should do the lower star ones first. Use our lowest level stuff first. So I have a, I have several raiders. Yeah, they're combat specialists. So 
want to make sure we send all of them on the low star mission. Nice. Very high fleet rating. And then on the other combat, see if we got any more raiders. Yep. Oh my, we have lots of raiders. I really went nuts buying raiders, didn't I? Cool. All right, and then Voyage of Discovery. I'll choose organics that I'll use. I'll put these two on the uh, the well the balanced one. Um, we need to find the best ones I have for exploration or whatever. Actually, I may need... To, yeah, let's just send four on that one, because I may not have enough for all the missions. need to make sure I don't send too many. All right, and then trade. Who's good at trade? Actually, it looks like I have enough I can send out the max. All right. And then the balanced. Cool. Nice. All right, now we get to wait and see if they have any special choices for me to do. And yeah, that's done. So let's head back out to look for ship parts. I hope they add more ship types that we can... Yeah, it, do it doesn't say what type of ship... Oh! UI natural ship name. Man, there's so many text bugs. I can't wait till they get them fixed. Anyway, I need to go get one more ship here, because I know they have the type of engine I like. And then we'll have to go look for the wings that I want. It's probably going to take a really long time to find the wings I like. We'll just travel to random star systems. I meant freighter expedition. You were not sure if you gave you nanites. If you're not sure, you can reload the game. Yeah, I'll, it, it's okay. Um, unfortunately, the update is not on Switch yet. Yeah. Um, how do you propel yourself forward like that? Oh, it's the... Um, uh, it's... What are they called? I'll show you. The... Or here somewhere. Rocket boots. Rocket boots are what let you double tap. You double tap the jump button and you do the rocket like that. Um, rocket boots are really good for places where you can't use melee, like space stations and the Nexus. You're not allowed to melee there, so um, you can't melee jetpack to get around faster, so you gotta have the rocket boots. And of course they work on, on planets too. And you still have the option to melee jetpack if you prefer that on planets. Um, okay, yeah. We just need to wait. Up. Oh. oh, darn. This is a different type. I don't want that garbage. Really good thing that they added ship customization is because... Um, well, no, that used to be the case. It used to be that certain wing types told you that it was an S rank, I think. Like, all S rank ships had wings like these. Um, but that, that was no longer the case later. They changed it. But that was when we really needed ship customization, because it was really boring that all ship... All ships... All, all fighter ships that were S class 
had the exact same wings. But of course, I think that got fixed when, of course, they added the ability to increase your ship's class. Then it didn't matter. You could ha you could increase the class of any type of ship to S rank. Um, so that was a good improvement. But now, of course, we can totally customize them and even make it S class at the very beginning. It's annoying that the exact type of fighter that I need hasn't flown in yet. I know it's here, but we have to wait for it. Ah, I wish they didn't block this area off. Oh well. Cool thing I noticed is that you can get up here, but there's a there's a force field that blocks you from going right there. Like, wh why do they need a force field to stop you from going there? It's not like there's anything back there. It's kind of annoying, like, No Man's Sky usually doesn't have very many invisible walls, although technically this is a visible force field, but I, I don't get why they blocked off some of these areas, it's kind of silly, but oh well. Anyway, gotta keep watching for the type of, oh, there it is, yay, that's the type that I want, hopefully this is a... Yeah, it's a C-class. Don't fly away. Oh, no. Oh, good. I was afraid the guy got inside his ship. That means they're about to fly away. Yay! Now we can get the engine. And then we have to go look for the type of wings that I want. Here we go. We want the engine. Yay. All right, so we got the engine and the nose that I want. Oh yeah, I should... I'm gonna sell these at an NPC real quick. Why can't I interact with this NPC? Oh, there we go. Uh, dang it. They need to fix this. It's not very... Since this is so close to the multi-tool station, I'm having trouble interacting with this NPC. Like, ugh. Dang it, they need to fix that. That, that NPC is really hard to interact with. Maybe it'll be different at different ones. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I re I restarted, so discount selling wait. If I could have the discount, that mean I would get less money. They need to fix this. It's saying that the discount would give you less money. It should be the opposite. When you're selling something, the discount, or rather the bonus, should be an increased amount, not less amount. <laughs> that would be really bad. Hopefully they'll fix that, because you definitely don't want it to be giving you less of a bonus. Yeah, so none of these have the wings that I want, so we're going to go search for others. Oh, I didn't know that. I always found them useless. Thanks for letting me know. Yep, you just have to double tap X, and then you'll be able to um, jump with the rocket boots. Sean Murray himself bragged how this game doesn't have any invisible walls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, technically, it, it does have a few on space stations, just not on planets. But then they're in space stations and frigates and etc. I had the same interaction problem already reported it in a bug report. Cool. Alright, so I'm not going to try looking for specific planets or star systems. I'm just going to... Well, whatever. Hopefully I'll be able to afford whatever ship I find. But whatever. We're just going to randomly go to star systems and hope that we get the kind of fighter wings that I want.
Oh yeah, and also I uh I just got more money from my expedition, so I'll be able to afford a B rank if I have to. Ooh, very cool looking space station. Let's check it out. Cool. Oh my gosh, I love the ring around it. The space stations are basically like the giant buildings on planets now. Obviously, they're not exactly the same, but they're the same kind of art style. So whoever designed the giant buildings that you can find on planets probably designed the variations for the, the space stations. Whoa. It almost looks like I could go... Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Almost looks like I could go inside it that way, but whatever. What kind of... Well, we'll see soon enough. It's kind of nice that there's signs that tell you what race controls the space station now. It's Viking again. I've been to Viking the last several ones, but that's kind of good because maybe I'll get... I don't, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really affects if you get fighter ships or not. Because, you know, every star system has every basic type of ship. Freighters, or sorry, haulers, fighters, and ex explorers. Might as well learn some alien words while I wait for a ship to come in. I guess. I learned all of the uh, autophage words. Man, when are we going to get... Blah, when are we going to get autophages in space? Hopefully, hopefully the summer update will will put autophages in space. I would love it if red star systems became autophage systems. That would be really cool. Oh, I haven't tried getting on top of the shops yet. Yay! I can get on top of the shops. Not that it matters. Um, oh, it would be really cool if there are hidden rooms up in the ceiling. I'm sure there's not, but it'd be cool if there was. Again, I'm really sad that there aren't side rooms anymore. Maybe they'll add them back in. It's probably possible they could add side rooms back in. They've got what look like spots where something could be, so they could add hallways here if they wanted to, but whatever. Oh, bye, T-Dragon. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, looks like looks like the space engine or space space station core is random. I I said in my my first impressions video that I thought Viking systems had the cube, but it looks like it's just random what shape they are. <gasps> oh my gosh! No! Ah! We found the wing already. Ah! The the type of wing I want was on that ship. Well, at least we know it's in this star system now, so we just have to wait for another one to come in. This is awesome. I can I can get the type of ship that I want built already. So while we wait for a... Man, if I'd have been watching instead of goofing around, um, I would have gotten it already. But we know it's in this star system, so we'll definitely get it. Just have to wait for it to fly in again. So now we can get this. I've got... Wow. Oh, actually, it's a bit more than it was at a different place, but whatever. Um, I don't understand the discount thing. Like, do I get the discount or not? I guess not. But whatever. Let's do UI Ship Core S rank. Thankfully, I had the... Uh... Oh, darn. That was a fighter, but it's not... Oh, that's cool. There's a... There's a... Exotic ship, but unfortunately, exotic ships aren't... 
you can't build exotic ships yet. Hopefully they'll they'll add exotic ships in later, but they're probably just saving that you know, for something for us to something for them to add in next time. Ooh, I like these stripes. That's cool looking. I like these little lamp posts. It kind of you know, it kind of makes a lot of sense that there's lamp posts now because before it was like where is the light coming from? Oh, and I've noticed there's like some kind of weird electricity effect that goes to the core. I wonder what that's all about. Like, where's the energy coming from? I'm messing around again. I'm probably going to end up missing the ship I want. Dang, there's a lot of different types of fighter ships. Dang, look at that. There's so many different types of fighter ships. It's going to take a while for the one that I want to fly in again. Dang it, I wish I hadn't missed it. I had the perfect one with the wings that I want. But at least I found a star system that has them. Uh, th this is my least favorite nose. I don't know why anyone would want this nose. I call it the credit card nose. It looks like it's got a credit card stuck to the front of its nose. Wish they would get rid of the weird credit card shaped thingy at the front. Then it would look cool. I'd like I'd like the nose to look like that, but not if it's got this weird credit card thing stuck on it for no reason. Oh well. I'm going to have to watch the ships a lot more carefully. I'm going to collect some more alien words. i got to keep an eye on the ships now that I know the one I want is here. I already visited that guy. Any cool multi-tools? Nah. They definitely haven't gotten rid of needing to wait for ships to fly in. You actually have to even more now with the with the ship building. I may have to reload my save because now there's no ships coming in. I do like that there's different colors and textures, but the basic layout is identical for all space stations, unfortunately. Oh well. Like somebody said in the comments of my first impressions video, um... If they're just going to change everything to a different thing instead of having more variety, there's kind of no point to changing. Like, changing them like this is good very short amount of time, but the fact that they're all the same means that we'll get tired of this interior quickly. If they had a lot more variety with like different rooms off to the side and stuff, it would be more interesting to, you know, explore different space stations. But as it is, once you've seen one space station, you've seen them all. So it's kind of pointless to even have changed them, except for the fact that they added the, the ship building device. But they could have done that anywhere. They could have just added a ship, de ship building device into any sp in into the old space stations and we'd still have all the functions like it's kind of cool they've updated the visuals but since there's so little variety 
it doesn't really add much of anything for very long. But oh well, I'll stop complaining. But be nice if they did add a little more variety to these space stations. I think I'm going to have to reload my save because no ships are flying in now. Well, it looks like one is now. I'll just be patient, I guess. I don't... Nope, that's not the kind I want still. Come on. Give me the... Dang it. I saw the type of ship with the type of engine that I wanted, but they won't fly in now. It's so annoying. I'm not even looking for a specific class. I'm just looking for that exact design to fly in again. Oh, well. Used to be I'd have to wait a really long time for the type of ship that I wanted with the class that I wanted, but now... Now I just need the type of ship to fly in again, and it's not. Oh, well. Hi, Black Star Radio. I stopped play NMS a year, maybe two ago, because of your point there. Oh, you mean that, like, once you've seen everything, it seems like you've seen everything? Is that what you mean? Once you've seen, like, each type of thing. They have added more types of planets in, though. They added volcano planets and swamp planets, though they may have already had those. I can't remember how long ago they added. They added those, like, about two years ago, swamp planets and volcano planets. Um, so you may have already experienced those if you stopped playing a couple years ago. I think it was about two years ago they added those types of planets. But um, they have added a lot of different types of planets over the years. So there's definitely more variety than there used to be. But, um, yeah. Be really nice if the ship I want would fly in. It's like, come on, man. Why didn't they add shuttles? I know shuttles are kind of awful, but it would have been cool to be able to customize them. Maybe they will eventually. Maybe they will add um, shuttles as a type of ship that you can build. Yep, shuttle. It's, it's like, shuttles have been around since the game first came out, too. I don't know why they don't think people would want to build them. Like, obviously they have the worst stats, and they're also kind of ugly, but some people like them, I think. <laughs> Gotta make sure I keep drinking my juice or I'm, my blood sugar is gonna get low. Man, it's taking forever. Maybe I should reload a save. Maybe we'll get some more ships in. I've heard that's a trick that you can do. To get ships to show up. Uh, restore point. That's the one I just made. Hi, Lorenzo Del Vecchio. Hello there. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. I think someone once told me, like, sometimes a certain type of ship will only fly in right after you reload a save. So maybe now the type of ship I'm looking for will fly in again. Since it flo flew in once earlier, hopefully it will fly in again so I can get that wing. Get that wing type I want. Actually, I wonder... No, I'm pretty sure I just saw an asymmetrical um, exploration ship 
just a little bit ago. It's interesting that you can still get asymmetrical ships. Um, oh, it's so bright here, I can't even see the... Can't even see this this star system hologram. Um, yeah, I just saw an asymmetrical um, explorer ship, but pretty sure you can't make make an asymmetrical ship because um, you can only put in one wing. So both sides of the wings will be the same. Hopefully they'll fix that. Hopefully they'll make it so you can make asymmetrical ones. Not that I personally would like to make asymmetrical. It just seems really incomplete that you can find asymmetrical ships, but you can't build them. I'll show you an example, because I think an asymmetrical one is flying in right now. Yep. See, this, this explorer ship has two different wings. It's got this, like, jet jet pack here, I don't know this thing, whatever it is this thruster thing on one side and a wing thing on the other side but when you build a ship, you can only put in one type of wing, so it would have the same wings on both sides it's like, why, why can there be certain combos of ship that you can find, but you can't act also build them it would make a lot more sense if you could build every possible combination, but if you can't, then there's something incomplete about that. Just joined, how's the new update? Pretty cool, I am just about to get all the parts I need to build my favorite type of fighter ship with my favorite part combinations. I just need, I just need a ship that I know is in the star system. It landed earlier, but now it, it won't land again. Once I get the wing, the type of wing I want, I'll be able to create my favorite ship with my favorite looking ship with all the combinations that I want. Yeah, they really need to fix all these part names. Still waiting on the fighter ship I want to land. Ah, there's so many different types of fighter ships. This one's really cool. I do like these kind of wings. Maybe sometime I'll make a fighter ship with these type of wings. But this isn't the type of wings that I'm looking for. But I do like this ship. It's very cool looking. The pointy nose is cool too. Wait, how do you get... I wonder how you get this fin on top. Is it a part of this type of wing? It seems to me that there's variations of ships that you might not be able to create, but I'm not sure. Well, I know you can't make an asymmetrical one, but I'm wondering about that fin that sticks up. Is that included in the wing type? Hopefully. What's up, Mac? Hi, Steven Macintosh. What's up, Mac? How you been? The new update is not on Xbox yet. Oh, man. It's not on Switch either. So apparently I got super lucky and it came out on PlayStation. In past updates, it hasn't come on, out on PlayStation. I remember one time it was out on everything except PlayStation, and I was kind of upset. Um, but it looks like I got lucky this time, and it's out on PlayStation, but it's not out on Switch or Xbox, apparently. That's a shame. Sorry, you have to go through that. Man, when is the type I want going to fly in again? There's so many different types of fighters. But the one with the engine, or not engine, wings that I want won't show up again. It's very annoying. Hopefully, it'll fly in again someday. I really wish I hadn't missed it. It flew in when I was messing around, and I saw it in it just before it flew out. If only I could have grabbed it 
that first time it came in here. Uh, if it won't show up for a really long time, I may go down to a, a trading platform or something. I hope it shows up there. It seems like ships land on trading platforms more often than they do space stations. I'm about ready to do that because this is taking forever. Forever. Maybe everyone else will get it tomorrow. Hopefully. I should definitely think you'll get it by Friday. It would really suck if you didn't have it over the weekend. It should definitely come this time. Sometime this week. I'm going to wait a few more minutes, and I'm going to go try going to a... Actually, I'm not sure... The economy scanner was given a new purpose. It can scan for, like, market blitzes or something. I wonder if it still gives you um, trade platforms. I hope so. Or maybe the market blitzes are at the trade platforms. That would be cool. Is that ship landing? I don't think it's... No, that's a shuttle. Okay, I'm going to go try a trade platform. See if hopefully the ship I want shows up. No, let's see what this is. That is not it. That's another one of those blue ones. Alright, let's see if... Oh. Yeah, I just want to trade out, folks. I don't want to trade Surge. Good, I'm glad they gave you the option. It would have been really annoying if they got rid of its old purpose and gave it that new purpose that I'm not interested in. So thankfully they gave you an option. Why did a... Why did an NPC appear? That was weird. Like, who is that NPC? I guess it's the trade person of this star system? But it was a traveler. That was really weird. Why did a traveler appear? Aw, my sweet little girl Maggie's here. She wanted up. She wanted to sit on my lap. Yes, she did, precious baby. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, precious baby girl. Sweet little Maggie. Sweet little Maggie. Oh, sorry, precious. <laughs> Trying to show her to you. She's getting upset. Here we go. Now she's got her paws up on my legs so you can see her. Oh, sweet baby girl. Sweet baby girl. Oh, precious. Precious. Precious little baby. Yeah, precious little baby girl. Uh -uh -uh. Oh, she loves a chin scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, sweet little baby. Sweet little baby. Alright, I can scratch her more while I wait for a ship to land. Oh, sweet little baby girl. Whoa! It's not... <sighs> Yeesh, Louise. What? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, it's not... <sighs> Not making those ring things appear. Does mean I can land? Uh, I hate it when it doesn't land on the. There we go. Now it's showing a ring thing. Hopefully the ship I want will land soon. Oh, sorry, sweet baby. I didn't mean to upset you. I love you, precious. It's not often Maggie comes to see me when I'm playing. For some reason. Sweet little baby girl. Sweet little baby girl. Alright. Gotta wait for this ship to come in. Oh, sweetie baby girl. Oh, sweetie baby girl. See what I mean? It seems like ships land a lot more often on trade platforms than they do on at the... Uh, stuff. 
Another thing I could do, another new feature I could try out. It's not a new feature in this update, but in the previous update... Oh, actually, I'm at the wrong type of place. I would need to go to a... What, an outpost, I believe they're called. Type of building that's called an outpost. To get a special side... Side mission from an NPC. Dang, there's the vent nose. I already got the vent nose. I need the... I need the, uh... I need the circular wings. Still waiting on that to land. I know they're in the space star system, but they don't seem to want to land very often. You know, actually, I think I'm going to call my ship... on the ground. That way, there'll be more spots for ships to land. Might be helpful, I don't know. Oh, sweet little baby girl. Sweetie precious. Hi, Fabes. Good to see you. Man. <laughs> this takes me back to the good old days when I used to look for ships. Used to wait for ships to come in, but back then I was like waiting for an S class or something. But now I'm just waiting for a specific type of ship to land. Man, there's so many different fighter ships that the one I want won't land. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy, precious baby girl. It's driving me crazy. Sweet little Maggie. Sweet little Maggie girl. <gasps> there it is! That's it! Yay, it's gonna land! It better land. I would get freaking mad if it didn't land. Yay, we got it, finally! Oh man, it's such a cool one. I almost wish I could get that this specific ship. But, now yeah, we're gonna build... Build the one I want. Good at C-Class. It'll be cheap. Yay! We got it! Oh, this is so cool looking. <gasps> the Daughter of the Moon! That is such a cool name. Oh man, I, I really almost wish I could keep this exact ship. It's so cool looking. But we're going to build it. We're going to scrap it and build it into the exact type that I really like. I love that name, the Daughter of the Moon. I think, I think I'm going to build... The one I build, I'm going to name it the Daughter of the Moon. <laughs> that, is such, that is such a cool name. Sometimes you get really cool names from the procedural ship names. The Daughter of the Moon. Right, sweetie pie? My precious little Maggie. Oh, my sweet kitty girl. Oh, I can't see her, but <laughs> she's in my lap. So glad we got new ship exteriors. They're so cool looking. See if I can get her to... Whoop. There we go. See if I can get her to be in the camera. She's just a little too short. Can't quite see her. Oh well. She wants to sit down on my lap and go to sleep. Okay. Okay, boy, she's little baby girl. Oh, there you are. Oh, boy, she's... Yay. Okay. We get to get the wings off of this ship and then we can assemble... My dream ship. My favorite. Oh, there she is. She's getting up on my... She's putting her paws up on my leg again. Oh, if I could just... Get her centered. There we go. 
<laughs> she looks like a grouchy cat. She's such a sweet, gentle kitty, but she looks like Grumpy Cat from the memes. Sometimes, sometimes she looks grumpy. She's not grumpy. She's a sweet baby girl. Aren't you? Aren't you a sweet baby girl? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, sweet Maggie. Yes, you are, sweet baby girl. Sweet precious. Sweet precious. Actually, she might be annoyed at me. She probably wants down. That's why she's putting her paws on my legs and, like, looking over the edge. She's trying to tell me she wants down. I'll put you down in a second, baby girl. Okay. I can tell she wants down. Okay. I'll let you down, Flushies. I'll let you down. There you go. Okay. Maggie has left the chair. <laughs> All right. Now. Salvage. The wings. Yay! We did it! We got the wings! Excuse me, we've got all the components. It's time to make my ship. I'm gonna save my game, though, real quick. Make sure I can go back to... Oh yeah, I left the other, I left the other ship down there. Because I can change ships now. Pretty cool that they made it so you can change your ships in the space station, which will be changing to the one I'm about to build. Um, but anyway, let's do this. So we got the vent nose, got the core to make it S rank. We got the wings, oh awesome. And we got the engine, and now we get to choose the colors. So my channel colors are purple and blue I might do that I think I might want darker purple what do these accents change I can't even tell oh, okay there's just like little parts I think I like that but do I really want it this color? I don't know. Let's try some different. I want, like, some red. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I don't know, though. I'll be stuck with it forever if I do that. Well, maybe we'll make the accents red. That's kind of cool. Eh, I don't know. Kind of, I wish you could change the decals. I hope that's something they add later, because there's all these decals on it. Like, there's a bunch of red decals right there. Like, why can't they let us color the decals? Kind of annoying. Of course, I kind of wanted red anyway, so I guess the red decals are okay. But it'd be nice if we could change the decals. I hope they add that later. It's like, why do they have all these random procedural decals on it that you can't change? That's kind of annoying. Let's let's try some different combos just for fun. What color combos? Oh my gosh. Oh, that clash is so bad. Orange, green, and purple. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let's just go with my channel colors. Yeah. Uh, no. I'll go with the dark purple. Then the accents... Why don't we do... Dark blue? No. Light pink? Not light purple? No. Um, we'll go blue. Or maybe I want to switch it. Let's see. Uh... 
That looks kind of better, I think. I think I want to go with that. I kind of want the, the wings, the round wing thing to be blue. So that's cool. Uh, of the moon. I guess of the moon is a ending of names that happens a lot in the star system. I think I'll go with that. Purple and blue. Let's see if anybody said anything. Nope. Nobody gave any suggestions what they think it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble it. UI shipbuilder invalid? UI built ship accept. <laughs> uh, uh oh. This better be. Oh yeah, definitely ooh, add. We definitely want add, not swap. Man, they really need to fix this, these things. It'd be really bad if I accidentally replaced my ship, but no. This is add. Let's double check though. Uh, what the? My ship is here? You can take off from here? That's cool. Let's try taking off from here. Ooh, the inside's all red. It'd be nice if you could change the color of the cockpit. But red in the cockpit's cool. Huh, that's cool that you can take off from there. Uh, I'm going to change to third person. I'm going to rename it. Nice. I'm going to rename it the Daughter of the Moon, like that other one was. What the? Oh. The Daughter of the Moon. Yay! That's cool. Kind of annoying, I've got to outfit it again. I could transfer all the stuff from one of my ships into it. Do I even want to use this ship? I think I might just keep this ship as kind of a collector's item, as, you know, the first ship that I built. But I don't know if I will actually want to use it. I know that's kind of dumb, but... Um... Uh oh. I can't see some of these ships. Let's Okay, so there's my sail ship. I really wish you could change existing ship colors. There's hope. Oh, that's my my first Atlas ship. I'm very curious. I assume you can't take parts from these, of course. Because you can't build them. So I wonder... It'll probably just say that you can't... It'll probably just be grayed out. Yep. Yep, no salvage prods. Yep. I'm really glad that you can change ships in your space stations now. Alright, we'll just bring back Starborn Runner. And there we go. So we built a ship. Now I want to try out um, getting standing with um, the guilds. There we go. So... Uh, these are hard things to get. Crystallized heart. Ew. Those are really hard things to get. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try something else. There was some easy stuff to get at the Corvac system. Let's go to a Corvac system. Ooh, I really like how this looks. I think I might play in third person with my ship for a little bit. 
just for fun. Let's go to a Corvac system and try to increase my Corvac standing. Uh, Gek. Come on. It's always hard. Oop. It's always hard to find what you're looking for. But yay, we got the type of ship that I wanted built. Got to try out the whole shipbuilding system. Now we're going to try out getting guild standing. Ooh, nice. Let's check out this. Yeah, these arm things look very much like the giant buildings that you find on planets. <coughs> Man, that's cool. In third person, you can kind of see the scale of just how big it is. Ouch. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Kind of wish they had, you know, some more function. They're all just form. All form, no function, but oh well. Ooh, this is a cool interior. Very dark and kind of grungy looking. Yeah, it looks like really rusted. I had been hoping that the new types of space stations would be autophage systems, but they're not. I wish that these had been autophage space stations, but hopefully autophages will get their own space stations and stuff in another update. But, anyway. Um... Why did I come here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Isn't that the symbol of the Mercenaries Guild? Why is this Mercenaries Guild? I thought this would be Explorers Guild. It doesn't tell us what guild it is. Uh, I think this is... I think this is... UA, UI guild... Oh, there it is. It says mercenaries here. Yeah, it's mercenaries. I thought Corvac system would have explorers guild. There's explorers guild, merchants guild, and mercenaries guild. But apparently it doesn't... It doesn't match up with the race, it just matches up with whatever the star system happens to be. I haven't gotten any messages from my... Can I... Usually there's a marker on... Where your... What star system your frigates are in. For their missions, but I don't see one. Oh well. Let's just go to... Well, let's try to avoid Viking at least, so that maybe we have a better chance to not get Mercenaries Guild. So the, the th items that you need to give Mercenaries Guild are kind of difficult to get. It looked like there were easier stuff at of uh, 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 Corvac systems. Cool, this one has three balls. <laughs> and they really look like Death Stars. That's pretty cool. I like that there's different shapes of hallways. 
or whatever you call the runways. Like some are round like they used to be, but some are triangular like this, which the triangular ones look really cool. They look really tall and, and imposing. Um, hopefully this one does not have Mercenaries Guild again. Yay, it's got Traders Guild. Let's see what Traders Guild has. Hopefully it's easier stuff to give. Cool, I could give salvage data. Apparently I only have three salvage data. No, I'm not giving them my storage augmentation. Uh, cool. Oh, apparently I gave the maximum of those. So there's a limit to how many you can make. I'm I'm not giving storage augmentation. I need to I'm gonna upgrade my star runner with the storage augmentation. I was gonna upgrade the ship I built, but honestly I'm not. <laughs> Yay, Traders Guild is rank two now. That's awesome. How nice. Let's upgrade Fly augmentation. Um, I think I could use... I want to add at least two more. Um, how did I get this augmentation? I don't even remember. But yeah, I want to add two more tech slots. Cool. Um, how did I get this storage augmentation? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was from the expedition. So, anyway, I could make... Oh, uh, I don't think I... Oh, yeah, to make hyper... Hype... <laughs> hype warper cores, as I like to call them. Man, there are some NPCs that's kind of irritating to select them. Um, I could make warp hyper cores, or hype warper cores. Um, oh, wait a second. Oh, no, 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 these are things that I could buy... Apparently these are free. Apparently they just give me launch fuel for free. I guess? It says shop free. Let's see if it actually does take anything from me. Nope, it's free. So apparently if you get more standing, they just give you stuff for free. But yeah, I'm going to donate some warp hyper cores. But to make those, you need... Uh, what are they called? Storm crystals. So let's see if there's an extreme planet in this star system. And then we could get some storm crystals and make warp hyper cores. I'm just calling, I'm just gonna call them hype warper cores. That one might be extreme. Let's see. Nope. It's just a bountiful planet. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm switching back to... first person, because I'm better at targeting things with it. Uh, nope, that's not extreme. Nope, that's, a uh, exotic. Exotics can't be extreme, I don't think. Exotic biomes can. But not normal exotics. Normal exotics are basically empty planets with... Oh, activated copper. There we go. That's an extreme planet. <sighs> Actually, do cactus planets have... Storm crystals? I'm not sure they do. Let's go see... Actually, I, I don't think they do, because extreme cactus planets are basically just extreme dry planets. I could be wrong. Let's go check if they have uh, storm crystals. I don't see any yet.
pretty sure they don't. We'll look around for a little bit. Ooh, Diplo. Hi, Diplo. It's a little Diplo. It's got the cool snake head. Nice. Not very colorful, though. Oh, we got a unicorn dog thing. Unicorn... Six-legged unicorn dog. No, pig. Six-legged unicorn boar. <laughs> I love it when they have six legs. Somebody... I forget where, said that they didn't like it when creatures have six legs. In this game, it's like... It's, a, it's an infinite universe full of weird alien creatures. Like, what's wrong with them having six legs? I wish they were more weird than that, you know? This looks like it's the same species, but it's younger, maybe, and doesn't have a horn yet. It's still got six legs, which I like. Of course it looks weird, but it's a good thing. <laughs> it's good to have really weird creatures. But yeah, I don't see any storm crystals here. So even if it did start storming, there wouldn't be any storm crystals to collect. There's a... I don't know what you would call this. It's kind of got a hippo body with a rat head. And there's some giant birds. Really wish you could ride on giant birds like that. They're not the kind of creature you can get as a pet or mount. Why aren't I scanning them? Don't tell me they messed up scanning birds again. Seems like every other update they either fix or mess up being able to scan birds. There we go. Got him. Ooh, I like those Diplos. This one's got the, uh, <laughs> basically looks like a Xenomorph alien head, kind of. Actually, I think, I think they may be based off of... I don't know. Oh, well, I'm not seeing any storm crystal thingies, so... We'll just have to leave and look for a stream planet elsewhere. May not be an extreme planet here. What's this one? I think we already scanned that one. It was all stormy before. Come on. Why can't I... There we go. Yep. Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. That's not extreme. That's not... There's a moon or something behind this planet. <sighs> nope, that's not extreme. Looks like there's no extreme planets here that would have storm crystals. Oh, wait. There we go. We got another I haven't scanned yet. Nope. Oh, well. Let's just go to another star system and see if we can get some standing. Anything but Viking. I don't like the Mercenaries Guild. I've still got the superstition that Viking means more likely to have mercenaries killed. I don't know.
Huh. Just kind of space it. What? I'm not that close to the spaceship. Space station? This kind of space station seems to be fairly common. Three balls around it. This looks like very similar to the last one I was at. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, I like how the back windows can be different. That's funny. Too bad you can't go back there, though. Alright, what are you? This is the... Ah, Mercenaries Guild. Dang it. Mercenary Guild items are hard to get. I guess I could go fight Sentinels and get some of this stuff, but... Oh, Crystallized Heart wouldn't be that hard to get. Uh, whatever. I want something different. I really wish they would make it so you could build shuttles. Surely they're going to add those eventually. Along with other types of ships, probably. Alright, let's try somewhere else. We'll just go to whatever planet. Oh, no. The, what the? Oh, that's a green star. I was going to say, yellow stars are never undiscovered. We'll try Gek system. Haven't gone to one of those in a while. I really hope undiscovered star systems become autophage star systems. That would be really cool. They would give autophage their own. Ooh, that's a cool type. Let's check this out. This looks like, this looks kind of like the containment anomaly that I found one time. Look kind of like the the thingies for containing monstrous creatures in them. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, leave me alone. Excuse me. It's mainly just colors and textures that vary with each space station. Unfortunately, not really much of a change to the layout of anything else. Dang it! Another mercenaries. They really need to make it so that you can tell what guild the space station has using your economy scanner in the, the warp screen or something. So annoying that mercenaries guild is so common. Or I'm just getting really unlucky and I keep getting it for some reason. No. Uh, uh. Ooh, that's another cool one. At the very least, at least we're getting to see a lot of space station exteriors doing this. I really wish you could, like, land on some of this stuff, though. Spacewalk on them or something. I'm sure there'll be mods on PC that will let people spacewalk on the exteriors of space stations. Modders, get to work on that. <laughs> people are definitely going to want that. <laughs> that would be really cool if you could walk on the outsides of these space stations. That's what something they should add. They should add tunnels 
on the inside here or maybe teleport stations that take you to the outside and let you walk on the outside. That would be super cool. Oh yeah, so this image right here, uh, it went away, but that image that was showing just before this one is something that Kanaju made. Um, Kanaju is another No Man's Sky YouTuber. Um, and yeah, this one. This one, apparently Kanaju made it for like one of his thumbnails maybe, or maybe he just... I don't know, made it for something else. And so Hello Games put it into the game. And probably these other images, well, some of them, this is basically just a screenshot of a monolith. But some of these other designs may also have been made by No Man's Sky creators. Maybe, I don't know. Um, also, there's some kind of new base part you can build that is like a TV that has images like these scrolling through and stuff I think I, I think you can build these on your base I'll have to check that, that's, some, that's something we'll do today before I end this episode we'll go to the nexus oh only problem is I just gave away all my salvage parts that's something we'll have to do in a different episode is go get um, salvage tech and work on getting all the new base parts from this update I didn't check what guild this is. Okay, good. This is... Ooh. Yeah, why don't we donate my repair kits? Apparently, I have more salvage data. That's good. I gave them the max of that. I better stop giving them salvage data, though. Is this the... Tr yeah, this is the Traders Guild again. Graw Graw? Oh, that's a that's a illegal thing. <laughs> Gragra used to be an old item and then they got rid of it for a while then they brought it back as a um uh you know uh illegal item which is kind of weird that this guild is accepting illegal items but whatever anyway um okay so I think I don't know how much salvage data I have. Oh good, I've got like 22. So let's go see if we can build, build, buy some cool new base parts in the Nexus. Let's go check out that new feature. And I'll probably spend all my salvage parts and we'll have to farm them later. Explore a planet and dig up uh, more salvage data sometime. find a really cool planet to do that. Nexus got some changes in the Omega update. Not a whole lot. Mainly just, um... Mainly just this teleporter over here. And of course, the new uh, expedition device thingy. We got this teleporter. Of course, this is the only place that you can break down multi-tools, which I was hoping they were going to add those into the new space stations, but they didn't. And we didn't get a new expedition, at least not yet. Maybe they'll add an expedition soon, but currently we don't have any. So, yeah, expedition has finished. A new journey will begin soon. So, yeah, I don't know if they'll do an expedition again soon or if we'll have to wait till the next big update in the summer, probably. Um, but, yeah, we're here for base parts. I want to check out the new set of... Um, base parts from the new space stations. Because I think one of the parts is like a... Alloy roofing? I don't remember those. Uh, alloy structures? Oh yeah, these are the basic stuff. 
We got all that. We got most of those. Ah, here we go. This is the new stuff. Some of it. Some of it's cut off. They need to fix that. Ooh. Billboard. Yeah, we want the station billboard. That's basically a TV looking thing. I don't know if I'll have enough to get it. Ooh, we've got a small holographic display. Nice. I'm going to build some of these in a base. Okay, so we want the billboard, the station billboards. Let's get the, oh, nice! Standing sign also. And then station billboard, yay! It's like a little TV set, almost. And topographic table, nice. Ooh, all of these holographic displays are pretty cool. I'm gonna get all of them. Ah, uh, we're out. Don't have enough thingies. We'll get more of those things later. But let's let's go to one of my bases. I think I'll go to my Omega base. I um Thankfully when we did the Omega Expedition our um our bases that we built on the expedition carried over. Ooh man, I should check out some of these sometime. These special bases that people built. Looks like they have five community spotlight bases now. That's really cool. But I want to go to my base. Let's go to Omega Base. So I've got kind of a little place built there that I know I can put stuff in. So we'll make a little TV display area, I guess. We'll put the displays in here. Probably in here? Maybe not. Nope. Not in here. No. I don't think it'd be in here. Wonder where they are. Hmm. Oh, here they are. Yay. Let's let's do the Where's the billboard? Yeah, the billboard. Awesome. This? Nice. You can turn it sideways so it looks more like a, a flat screen TV. Somebody, uh, Sean Murray retweeted, or yeah, retweeted someone's post about this. Yay. So it, yeah, it, it uh, you know, scrolls through different images. All right, and let's do the standing sign, which you have to put on the floor. Apparently, you can't can't mount it on the wall. And let's put it here. You know what? I want to move this. Which button is for move? R two. Okay. What? Oh dang! It's all messed up now. Let's rebuild it. There we go. Dang it. It's hard to get it level. There we go. And then this. What the? Oh, I ended up with two. I don't want this one. No, I'm not trying to move it. I'm trying to delete it. Where's the delete button? There we go. Okay. Now the standing sign. Good enough, I guess. Nice. All 
Alright. Let's try out these other things. Uh, oh, it's teeny tiny. I don't think that's what I want, really. I'm gonna build... No. I'm gonna build... More of these things. Let's try turning it this way. Whoop. Nope. Oh! We can kind of flip it. Oh, that just... What the... No. Delete. It's the wrong thing. There we go. Those have... Yeah, they have different pictures. That's nice. I'm going to build another TV over here. Let's turn it upside down compared to the other one. There we go. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this table and wonder thingy. I want a different table. Do I have a better table? I guess tables aren't in here. I thought for sure this would be the table. Where are my tables? What? Tables should be in here. I don't see any tables. What? What happened to the table? I just deleted a table, so I know I have one table that I can build. But it's not in here. What the heck? May oh, maybe I had it in the expedition, but then they removed it when I left the expedition. I guess? That's annoying. So apparently I don't have a table. I just deleted a table and now I can't build it again because I didn't actually have it. Oh well, forget it. Let's uh, just build it on the floor. The thing that I want to build. The topographic... Oh, this thing is actually a table. It's called a topographic table. Well, that's cool. So I do have a table. <laughs> the table is the thing I was trying to build. Oh, it's not centered right. Oh, no, that's the delete button. All right, let's uh, try to get this somewhat centered. That's uh, good enough. Wonder if I can change the color of it. Which button changes colors? Uh, this. Uh. Ooh. Doesn't really, it uh, doesn't change the color of the hologram. I was hoping I could change the color of the hologram, but it doesn't. Oh well, good enough. So these things are teeny tiny little thingies. Wait, can I scale them up? Let's see. Um, <gasps> I can. Ooh, nice. I can make these into. Oh, they were standing up for a second. Oop. No! Oh, it's so annoying. Why does it switch to a different thing when you do that? It's so annoying. Oh, good. You can't put it on the wall. Oh, darn it. That's not the right thing. Cool. We can't really see it very well. Wait, can I... Let's try changing the color of this house. Um, colors. Yeah. Let's do... Um, I don't know. What interior wall color do we want? Green? 
Ooh, purple. Let's do that. This is crooked. Annoying. No, I keep... Uh, I wish there was an undo button. So annoying. That you can't undo your last action. No, oh, it's still going to be crooked. Whatever, dude. Okay, let's make the other hologram thingy. On here. Let's make it turn it sideways. There we go. That's eh, still a little crooked. Uh, I can't. There we go. What? Why does it mess it up when I move it? That's so annoying. Uh, just delete it and rebuild it, I guess. It's probably a better way to do this, but I'm not that good at building. Stop it! Uh, this is why I don't build very much. It's annoying. Ah! Freaking finicky controls. Whatever, I don't care anymore. Okay, we tried out some of these new base parts. There they are. Cool. Oh. I sneezed. Okay. So, I think I'm going to leave it there. We, uh... Did that color the outside? Yeah, it did. Cool. Um... So we did a lot of stuff. We tried out building a ship. And... I wish you could sit in these chairs. You can only spin them for some reason. Uh, we tried out building a ship. Why don't, why, don't we, why don't we call my ship again? We can look at it again. Uh, where's the daughter of the moon? Here we go. Excuse me. Yay, we built the Daughter of the Moon. And... Um... We got a little bit of standing with one of the guilds. We'll work on that some more later, I guess. And we built some of the new base parts in here. So I'm going to leave this episode at that. And I probably won't live stream again until this weekend. I'm going to be busy with work over the next few days. Get some better lighting. There we go. Nice. So that's going to do it for this episode. And I'll be back this weekend with more live streams. I've been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.